What is the most difficult part of changing your tire? Is it breaking the bead, removing the tire from the rim, installing the new tire, changing the tire valve? We're going to do that now. The easy way. Minimal tools, minimal effort. Here's our tire. This is a Metzler Z8 that is worn a bit square. See the ridge here? It's kind of tough to ride down the road and transition onto that. It makes the bike handle like shit. So we're going to change these. If you have new tire valves and you're positive they're the correct ones for your rim, you can go ahead and just snip the old valve right off. Save your valve cap, if it's special. That takes care of that. Want some 2x4s on the floor to make a box so that we don't worry about touching the disc or the rim to the ground. Couple of pieces of wood, see? Put it there on the edge of the bead, see? You need something to lever against. Here you go. Bead's broken. Other side. Bead's broken. Isn't that a fuck of a lot more practical than spending thousands of dollars for a tire machine to break your bead? But you need the tire machine to change the rest of the tire? Why? Fucking people wasting their fucking money. Wasting their money. Pissing it the fuck away. I don't even really need much soap on this application. You need two hands, two knees, three tire irons of your choice. You're going to put your knees on the bead so that the tire goes into the valley. Valley of the rim. Tire iron. Tire iron, we're hooking them this way. More than that. Put your knee on it. Finger under the bead. Finger under the bead. And pull. Water, a little bit of soap. It's your new tire valve. Water and soap, water and soap. Tires. See your new tire? Look for a mark. Paint mark. Oh, look, a big red one. 
That red paint mark is to go next to the oh. valve. Most tire manufacturers mark their heavy spots. The heavy spot goes next to the valve. Why? Because there's a hole drilled in the rim and your valve does not weigh as much as the material removed from the hole in the rim. Therefore, red dot next to the valve. We want plenty of lubrication on here. So we're going to take our soap and we're going to spray along the edge of the bead. You're going to run your fingers around it and on this part and under. Now we're going to flip it over. Do the same thing. The red dot is in front of me, as is the valve. I'm going to take my tire at an angle and slam it on the rim. You can even put something behind it to keep your rim from moving. For just this step. So, red dot. Valve, here we go. Put your knees into it. Ready for inflation. This could be the tricky part. All I'm using for an air compressor is this little slime 12 volt thing with an air tank. Put some pressure in the air tank first and you'll have the volume of air you need to seat the bead. Ha, ha, ha.